This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Are you looking for that last card to complete your deck or you want to start your adventure and you don't have any TCGO codes? This is the website to start. You can go to PotownStore.com and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% off your next order and they have a huge variety of codes up on their website ranging from uh, the latest booster packs like Battle Styles, they have uh, Dragapult codes, Eternus codes, Zacian codes, you name it. Be sure to check it out on PotownStore.com. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com, the best place for European players to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every day to get rid of my bulk and you can buy some uh, sweet deals uh, from people all across Europe. I love the website. Be sure to check out the affiliate link in the description. You're going to be helping me out. And uh, without further ado, let's just get this video started. I'm hyped. Hopefully you guys are hyped as well. Peace. What's up YouTube, it's Zadoy's TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. On this channel you got daily Pokemon TCG content so be sure you are subscribed so you don't ever miss out. Today big shout out to Vinny Fernandez from Brazil getting first place in the Chill Series Invitational as well as Corolla Season 3 Invitational. So with the same deck, Excadrill Control. We saw this a little bit in action in Players Cup 3 with Tord Reckliff. This is a very annoying build to play against because it's just so good. What are you going to be trying to do is with Rototiller, you actually put four cards from the discard pile back in deck. You can actually have an infinite amount of crushing hammers as well as Chip Chip Ice Axe to control the opponent's top deck, as well as stuff like Team Yalgrunt. You can go for Galar Mine and uh, Boss's Orders and leave something trapped in the active. It's going to be ridiculously powerful. But more importantly, there's Jesse and James. Each player discards two cards from their hand. And uh, in combination with the Weezing here uh, from Shining Fates, I think, uh, it actually allows you to discard an additional card. So for every Weezing you discard, so that means you can put the opponent to a zero card hand. You use Chip Chip Ice Act to control uh, the top deck to give them a, a bad card that they are not able to do anything with. And uh, then you actually have stuff like Giratina Dimension Breach in combination with Crushing Hammer Team Yalgrind, slow the opponent down and run them out of resources. So uh, yeah, this is the craziest control deck ever. And uh, yeah, it has a Pidgeotto line. That means you can actually get yourself started very quickly with air, uh, yeah, air mail. You have level ball to surge them out. You also have capture energies, four of them. And those also work out for the full metal wall GX, which we've seen countless amount of time in decks like Luke Metal. So uh, yeah, lots of energy denial, lots of control aura stuff going around. Chip Chip Ice Axe. So big shout out to Vinny Fernandez. Getting to the first and two invitationals is... A testimonial of how good this is in a best of three. In best of one is a little bit more difficult because of time constraints, but best of three, this is an insane deck. Okay, let's see what we are up against. They have a Zapdos on their deck box, so they're instantly OP. Uh, a fire coin, okay, cool. We lost a coin flip. Okay, a we can go first. Well, probably gonna be a welder deck, is it? And this deck just has Zation for the Intrepid Sword where you can draw more cards. So uh, sometimes you might get donked with this deck, although you have level balls and communication. So hopefully we'll be able to set ourselves up nicely. Okay, there's a Pidgey, there's a level ball, there's a... something we can do at least. We can put the Capture Energy onto Pidgey, get another Pidgey. Maybe we can get a good top deck, for instance, a Cynthia Catlin or a Bird Keeper. Any of those would be fine. Okay, this is going to be Victini, an interesting approach for sure. A Victini list probably is not going to attack on the first turn. I think so. The capture energy is pretty damn nice, so I really don't know where we should put the capture energy for now. Let's just go for level ball. Try to find, yeah, we can actually get a Jirachi in the active, but it's better going to be a Pidgeotto, so we can actually go for air mails the following turn. Get a capture energy onto this guy as well. Getting a Pidgey out of the deck. Let's see here what is priced. Yeah, there's at least one fighting energy in here and our ordinary rod. So we can use the Rototiller at one point. Chip Chip Ice Axe, not necessary just yet. And we can attack on the first turn. Okay, two Pidgeys. Okay, we have Wondrous Labyrinth to slow down potential ADPs. Okay, it is going to be Welder. Weldering onto Victini here. Victory sign. He's not going to be poking our Victini anytime soon unless he goes for... Uh, stuff like a Heatran GX and Switch. Okay, hey, hey, look at that. Look at this fella. Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos. Oh, this is nice to find our scout out our only fighting energy. That's super, super nice. Tool Scrapper also can get rid of air balloons, by the way. If you want to trap people with Galar trapping. 
This guy can go for the uh, Sky Legends, which is an interesting attack. Luckily, we do have Mew to protect our bench. Okay, let's go for it. We have Pidgey. Pidgey, Pidgey, Pidgey. Who's the best Pidgey of them all? What is this? EXP share? Yeah, I don't not really want to get rid of that. I'm actually on the scout. Uh, let's see what we need to find here. Pidgey autos. <laughs> the Wondrous Labyrinth would be nice. And some more capture energies. Okay. Come on, Pidgeys. Do your stuff. Communication. Well, that instantly is another Pidgey auto. But the problem is, it all depends on this crushing hammer though. Burp. Yeah, it is hat, so we will get rid of the lightning energy. Yeah. Although, he could have Tapu Koko Prism Star. Probably should have gotten rid of the water energy now that I think about it. It is fine either way. Let's just put the Mew back. We can get the Mew with capture energy later. So for now, I think I will go for another Pidgeotto. So we can actually draw a reasonable amount of cards here. Let's go. Airmail again. What do we get? Gallarmine and Capture Energy. Hey. With the Gallarmine, we actually make sure he doesn't draw the Lightning Energy. But with the Capture Energy, we draw more resources. I think the Capture Energy is nice, but it's going to be for next turn. For now, let's just slap this down. And uh, yeah, be done with it. We could have Chip Chip already. We could. We're not going to do it though. Two lightnings in a discard pal. So maybe he doesn't have a lot of lightnings in his deck. Whatever is the case, he's still not gonna be able to attack. He needs two more energy. He could weld another fire, but oh yeah. Another of these Viridian Forest. Okay, we need to find Mew or this uh, Sky Legends is going to just destroy us. Okay, attachment onto Reshiram, okay. Now I've seen everything. Hopefully his lightning energies are gone. He didn't play. This is an interesting list, though. Fire and lightning on that. Okay, he has two attackers set up now. Ooh, I'm a little bit scared. Hmm, what to do here? Airmail. Okay, this Zacian is super nice. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, Jesse and James is even better. Making sure he well, he can still keep accelerating energies or just attach of the turn anyhow. So let's hang on to Zacian first. And airmail, scoop up Team Yelgrunt. Okay, Team Yelgrunt is going to slow him down one turn, which is actually all we need. So, uh, Zacian, this guy could potentially attack us, which is super scary. So for that reason, we are actually going to be retreating to a Pidgey. Yeah, we're gonna be retreating to a Pidgey. And uh, we will go for the Yelgrunt. And we're gonna be putting back the water energy. This guy needs a fire energy and, or a lightning energy. Yeah. Let's just put the water energy back so he cannot go for that crazy uh, Sky Legends attack. And now we just go for an Intrepid Sword. Okay, the loot metal is here, which is super interesting. That means we can uh, set it up and try to leave this guy stuck. We need Jesse and James, I know, but we can uh, establish that very soon. First of all, we're gonna go for a Galar Mine we, so we can trap a couple of these opponents here. Water Energy going on to... Ooh, the Dene, he is playing a Pokemon with abilities. Okay, I was afraid of uh, a Heatran coming, but uh, this is uh, interesting, Poke Gear. Yeah, Welder, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Retreat, okay, that's going to be the Sky Legends attack and all of our Pidgeys will go down, I think. Yeah, all of our Pidgeys will go down instantly. Well, what do you know? Say goodbye to draw support. <laughs> should have slapped down my Mew earlier on. I should have. But it's, it's okay. Even without draw support, we still have our Zacian. I know I'm scared of this uh, Reshiram, but we can stamp him at least. And then we can trap and boss him. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Another Pidgeotto. That's not good. Okay. Let's go for this. Let's go for a Capture Energy. Getting ourselves another Pidgey. What do you know? What do you know? 
Geller mine. Stamp the three cards. And this guy is pretty damn scary though. We're gonna wait with Chip Chip until we have the lock going. So for now, Intrepid Sword it is. Let's just hope for these three cards. There's not gonna be a lightning energy. There's already like two lightning energies, this Carpel, two Viridian Forest as well. We have the Surge, so we can actually make some stuff happening. Hopefully we get the Bird Keeper here. EXP share. Aurora energy going onto the Victini here. Interestingly enough, he gets rid of Boss's orders. Victory Center. He only has one card in hand. That's crazy. That is other. If we get Bird Keeper, we can get rid of all the energies of the Reshiram. That's that. That could be huge. Yeah, that's all he wanted. I know. Cynthia Catlin is interesting. First things first. Pidgeotto in the house. We need to set up our Drill Burr as well. I'll just wait with that. Just real quick. Let's go for an Airmail. Surrender now, Pidgeotto. Yeah, it doesn't matter what we get to be honest. It doesn't matter. Surge. Cynthia Catlin. We will get rid of the wheezing. We can get back the team yell grunt. That means we can slow him down one turn if we get a hammer or we can get another surge. If he has switch, we're done for, right? But the Galar Mine is still in play. Interesting. I don't even know what his last card in his hand is. Ooh, the Wondrous Labyrinth. That's super huge. <laughs> we can go for another Cynthia Cullen. That's super interesting. If he has an attach of turn, he still has a retreat cost of 2. So even with an attach, he still doesn't get it just yet. Yeah, this is interesting. For now, I'm actually gonna go for Chip Chip Ice Axe, see what he has. Oh, he has lots of energies here. Yeah, here, take a Victini. Take a Victini, man, and do something with it. Yeah, next turn we're gonna have to boss and Bird Keeper at the same time. Yeah, would have supported our back, so we get rid of the Scoop Up Net. Get ourselves a Team Miel Grin back. Interesting development, that's for sure. Still don't have Bird Keeper, unfortunately. Yeah, still don't have Bird Keeper. So let's go for Capture Energy. Had yeah, the Mew would have been nice a little bit earlier, but uh, it's okay. How many Bird Keepers in here, to be honest? Only one. Oof, super, super scary. Scary development, that's for sure. Any other cards we want to slap down? Do we have Ordinary Rod? Yeah, we do. do any other scoop up nets? Probably not. Probably not. Intrepid Sword! Okay. <laughs> Lots of cards. And uh, he's gonna be drawing that Victini. Let's just hope he doesn't get his Victini. Does he have a switch card in hand? Quick Ball, really? Was that the card he had left? Another Dedene? I don't think he has another Dedenne. Maybe a Crobat. Another Dedenne. Insane. Hope he wears the switch, otherwise we're done for. Well, entirely we are still not done for because we have a huge hand size and we have Luke Metal, which is able to get rid of all of these energies. Okay, another Reshiram. And a Welder, well. Well, 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 that's a lot of cards. The Galar Mine still in play. Turbo Patch. Failing. Attachment there. So he has two Rush Ramps. Crazy. He just needs the switch, right? Victory sign as well. I don't even know how many he has. Turbo Patch is over. Yo, he attaches to himself. He attaches to himself, so uh, that's interesting. We have a doll. Well. Well, 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 well. Airmail. Communication and boss. Yeah, for now, let's just take the communication. Okay, what do we need? We need to slow this guy down ASAP. There's not a lot we can do with this. Not a lot we can do with this at all. 
we can boss and Yalgrind at the same time. I don't know if that's gonna work. I don't know. I think in this situation, the Wanderer's Labyrinth is super huge. Wanderer's Labyrinth can allow him to need more energies. Lily spoke it up. We will go for a boss's orders on this guy, I think. If he still doesn't have switch, we still have this. Otherwise, it's gonna be very, very hard. We need to get out of this active position ASAP, man. ASAP. Ugh, he could also like a welder onto it, but he already wasted so many energies. I really don't know. Okay, there's the bird keeper, perfect. There is the bird. That means we can put stuff back in the deck. He has so many stuff here, it's insane. Quick ball, another Dedenne. That would be crazy, right? Triple Dedenne. Tapu Koko, oh, he did play Tapu Koko Prism Star. So our earlier play of uh, putting that lightning back in, or actually putting that energy back in the hand. Huh, or actually discarding that energy would have not been a good idea. We actually need to discard that water energy. So we still have hammers, surge, Bird Keeper. He probably is looking for switch and boss's orders, to be honest. There's the boss. There's the Tapu Koko Prism Star. Does he have the switch as well? Well, look at that. If he has switch, it's perfectly played. Okay, he doesn't have switch. Perfect. Still doesn't have switch. That's awesome. So, Surge. Yeah. Next up, we go for Airmail. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Jesse James. The only thing we're missing here is the... Yeah, Crushing Hammer could be nice. He has two lightnings on that one, so that's super interesting. Jesse James. <laughs> Research and Eldegoss, crazy. Okay, let's get rid of Jirachi. And at this point, uh, communication, yeah, sure. What else? We are gonna go for a bird keeper and we're actually gonna be trying to get the log going so this is actually not bad attachment here bird keeper as well more stuff going crushing hammer let's go it is heads this guy is able to attack this guy is able they're all able to attack that's crazy Lightning energy. What do we still have left, by the way? Oh, there's a chip chip still left in here, okay. Crazy. Okay, we stab Jesse James, do that combo. That seems to be okay to me. Now we just need to make sure this top card is not the switch card. I don't know if it's gonna be happening, but we'll see how it goes. And we also need to establish ourselves with more stuff. So what do we need? We need Chip Chip Ice Axe, maybe some hammers. Jesse James. We already have the surge, right? Yeah, we already have the surge. So Jesse James. Crushing hammers. And we already have the reset stamp as well. Sounds okay to me. Shuffle them in. Yeah, unfortunately he was able to get rid of all our Pidgeotos, which is bad. So I hopefully we'll get him in the lock next turn. Could have shuffled in some Pidgeys. We could have. You have a good deck. <laughs> Yay! Okay, and now we just go for a capture energy as well. Uh, we don't need this. And uh, instead, we are actually going to be slapping down Wondrous Labyrinth very shortly here. So, uh... Airmail, Jesse James, perfect. We're gonna stamp, and then Jesse James. Stamp to three cards. 
Then Jesse James. <laughs> Heart face. Okay. What is he gonna get rid of? Then oh he got rid of a, a stadium card. Crazy. So let's get rid of the wheezing as well. And lovable. Yes. <laughs> the Marnie's gone too. Okay. We could shuffle in back some of our stuff and then go for an intrepid sword. Or we can do it right now. We still have chip chip ice axe, right? They just concede! We got them in the lock, almost, because yeah, this takes quite a while to just get the opponent in the lock. Uh, the only thing you need to make sure is that you gallant trap them or you make sure you get rid of all their energies. The problem is we got rid of all of our Pidgeotos with that Sky Legends GX, which you don't see every day. And not have a great start, but in the late game this deck is insane. And the opponent says like, what can I even do? His last uh, stadium card was gone so that the Dene would have been stuck forever. The Dene would have been stuck forever. He probably kept on to that Marnie. Later that he know that we played Weezing to just get rid of an additional card, which was super duper awesome. So big shout out to uh, uh, Vinny Fernandez. Super crazy deck. I uh, really wouldn't love playing against it. Okay, double Zation Quick Ball and a Capture Energy. Interesting. Let's see here. If we find ourselves early on uh, Luke Metal, we can get rid of energy. It's probably going to be ADP. And I still don't know. Against ADP is how crazy it can be because they have Intrepid Sword to get them out of this uh, insane handlock. Okay, let's key. Okay, it is ADP. So this is not a good matchup, I think. Unless you are having some luck with Crushing Hammers. You can also get the Luke Metal thrown in here, and the Luke Metal will allow you to get rid of all the energies on this guy. On the other hand, they have Saucers as well. I think we just need to hope his Caddox follows Prize so we can trap the Crobat at one point. Yeah, whatever the case, this, this is uh, not a good matchup because they take multiple prize cards. Okay, we have a Lily's Poké doll. Hello. Quick ball, let's get rid of this. Let's just start with establishing a couple of Pidgeys and there's two of them prized. There's two of them prized. <clears throat> yeah, Excadrill is in there. Luke Metal could be an interesting case if he just attaches, go for Alter Creation, but then we're up with a four prizer because of Alter Creation. Because of Alter Creation, let's just go for another Pidgey. I don't know if we are able to win against this matchup just because they take multiple prize cards very, very quickly. Sword, yeah, we have a, we have all of our Pidgeotos. Unfortunately, there are two Pidgeys prized. So it's gonna be going a little bit slower. Crushing Hammer, well. <laughs> who is milling who, huh? Who's getting an energy denial first? Mm -hmm. Zations everywhere. Zation, Zation. Saucer. That's cool. Play all your item cards down, please. And a research. Oof. <clears throat> Four saucers. Whoa. Four saucers down. Insane. If we can get that luck with some crushing hammers, this actually could work out. This actually could work out. Uh, in this situation, let's just go for... It all depends on what we draw though. Lava Ball. This guy. Yeah, if we get our uh, Luke Metal, that would be insane. That means we can set him up and then get rid of all the energies on the ADP. But he's probably gonna go for Ultimate Array the following turn, so we need some hammers as well. Reset Stamp Boss. Probably gonna have to go for a reset stamp play and then go for Luke Metal so we can trap this ADP. We'll see what happens. Let's go. Okay, a Bird Keeper or a Luke Metal. I think I will go for the Luke Metal here. Okay, capture energy as well. Yeah, this one. And there's the sword. 
I have Wondrous Labyrinth as well. Okay, that's, that could be interesting. It definitely could be interesting. If we are able to get rid of all the energies thanks to the full Metal Wall GX, that's going to be huge. The only thing we need is a Bird Keeper, right? Luckily, he got rid of all of his saucers. The problem is he now has access to Ultimate Ray. But the good news is all the energies that are in play will disappear. Energy switch. Oh, does he have boss and switch? All right, folks, we need to Ordinary Rot and get this guy set up once again. Well, that was our only uh, win count, to be honest. Right now, he actually takes four prize cards, so we need to stamp him. And then we need to establish another loop medal. He didn't go for ultimate ray, which I found very, very nice. Uh, if he knocks out something, he wins the game. That's how scary it is right now. We need to find Ordinary Rot ASAP. Bird Keeper, pretty interesting supporter to draw more cards while switching out. Well, we already have Cynthia Catlin. We already, but it actually can allow us to get, huh. Oh boy, this airmail, another capture energy. Stamp. I don't know how to do this, fellas. I really don't. Surge. Cynthia Catlin. Let's get rid of the Zation. Get the uh, Lieutenant Surge back. Chip Chip Ice Axe and a Crushing Hammer. Crushing Hammer! That's too bad. Why don't my Crushing Hammers work? Nobody knows. Maybe he doesn't have switch in hand. There's two of them in the discard pal. Can we hope? Can we hope? Playing down the chip chip. Yeah, take a Zamazenta. Take a Zamazenta, man. Next up, we can go for Bird Keeper and then go for the Rototiller, but I think we need to draw into our deck more quickly to find Ordinary Rot. Let's get rid of one of these. Oof, another crushing hammer. Let's go! Why? Why can't we have this? <laughs> Super duper bad. Chip chip ice axe. Energy switch, we, yeah, we already use it with Chip Chip. What am I doing? So I'm actually losing my mind playing this game. Losing my mind playing this game. Excadrill, this. Can we find... Yeah, he's gonna be drawing a Zamazenta. Next turn we slap down the Wondrous Labyrinth. Maybe have some luck with Crushing Hammers this time around. Yeah, definitely should have not played two Chip Chips down. Yeah, just an Intrepid Sword, super bad. Super bad and super scary at the same time. Crushing hammer. Triple tails. How even? Boss's order strapping. Yeah, just taking the boss's orders. Nice and slowly. Surge again. Okay. Search. I don't know which Pokemon to promote because if he gets a switch, it's all over. It's probably gonna be all over in the first place, but. Eh. Come on, Crushing Hammers. Good check out. Okay, finally, we have some luck here. And slapping down the Wondrous Labyrinth as well. And then we go for. We can go for Roto Roto Tiller to get back our chip chips or hammers. He doesn't seem to have energy acceleration. Yeah, that's cool. Not taking any of these, and we will go for Roto Tiller hammers. I think hammers is the best bet for now. 
Yeah, all the hammers in the world. <laughs> a lot of them failed. The only thing he needs is like Calyx Well energy switch. Can he have it? For now, we actually slap down all the energies. Maybe a reset stamp would also be nice, but we still have another one left in the deck, so. And we still have Jesse James, so reset stamp, Jesse James, but we can still keep on Intrepid Sorting. We'll see how what happens here. Energy Spinner, getting himself another energy. Yeah, really, next turn we need to do something crazy. He has the energy, does he have the swell though? The Wanderer's Labyrinth is still in play. How many energies do we have left? <laughs> Not a lot, so we will probably need to hang on to the hammers. We had three tails already. If we can just keep getting energies removed from the Zation, we probably will get there at least at one point. Because of the fact he lost all of his saucers. Okay, escape rope and then Stellar Wish switch Chaotic Swell boss. That's like two, three switches already. So next turn he only needs a boss and an energy. And we need to land a Crushing Hammer. Can we do it? Also with uh, two Pidgeys being priced, this is an, uh, a difficult matchup. I wonder why I actually gone, went for the Chip Chip twice. It doesn't matter too much because he just had Intrepid Sword. But yeah, definitely should have not done that. Hopefully Reset Stamp can help out. Reset Stamp and Jesse James, that's what we need right now. Switch, he does have the Switch. Does have the Switch. If he has the boss and the Codex, well, he wins. And this needs to stick and play for the rest of the game. Does he have it? Chaotic Swell. Energy Switch. Yeah, Energy Switch could also help out, by the way. Energy Switch and Boss. How many Energy Switches in there? Only one. Oh no, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. Yeah, typically this is a very, very bad matchup. Sometimes you could go for, uh, if you have them in the lock, go for Excadrill and take some prize cards. The one prize attacking Excadrill. There's the Dane. Energy switch is gone. He needed to energy switch, man. If he used energy switch on this guy. Did he also got rid of a boss? I didn't know. If he energy switched this one and had boss, he had the game. Air balloon. Maybe he was digging for Caldex well. Whatever the case is, if he energy switched this one, this guy could have attacked. Because this actually uh, gives you a carless energy more. And we still have Luke Metal at one point, so that could be a nice option. We just need to get one of these Crushing Hammer's heads, not have him attaching an energy, and then we should be good. How many energies in play, though? There is one in the discard pile tree in play. Got some stuff, scoop up net again. So this is Stellar Wish ADP. With one hammer. He only played one hammer. He only played one hammer. That's interesting. Do we have... Um, Galar traps left. Here's the Zacian again. Retreating. <laughs> Stellarizing again. Try to find Codex well. Okay, rope. Uh oh. Yeah, whatever the case is. If we get knocked out, we get knocked out. Rope. What's he looking for? Research. Stellarish. Oh, another, another energy switch. He could have already gotten it, man. He has the swell, okay, he could have already gotten it. If he gets his, his Jirachi out of the active though, that's three switches, two ropes, two escape, two scoop on that, so maybe he's stuck. If that is the case, that will be super. Crushing hammer, yeah, that could help. How many balls in his discard pile though? One, only one. Crushing hammer. Yeah, cool, his hammer fills. He could have gotten the game already if he used energy switch for that water energy. Okay, he got an energy from the Intrepid Sword here. Super, super big. Team Yalgrind could help, that's for sure. What to do here? Communication. Getting the wheezing. Lovable. Ta -da. Getting a wheezing. Maybe he can still be stuck if we get all the wheezings here. Come on, let's do this. Airmail. Ooh, either crushing hammer or reset stamp. We still have Yalgrunt. Yalgrunt and a crushing hammer could help. 
At least Sam can get him to zero cards, though. Ah. Uh, crushing hammers, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the crushing hammers are gonna have to do the, tro the job here. Hammer time! Let's go! Okay. Enough of your mumbling chisel already. Let's go! It fails. Okay, cool. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Interesting. Interesting development. Yalgrunt. Yeah, this is not what we want, right? This is not what we want. Ha! We could go for Retreat, Stellarish, find another Crushing Hammer. Maybe that's gonna land successfully. We still have Ordinary Rob as well. Interesting. Probably the Luke Metal play is definitely miles better. Yeah, I think that's the only way. Our last Crushing Hammer have to, has to land successfully here. And then we can yell Grunt and save ourselves a turn. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> this? Then... Uh, we can also Galar Trap in that one point. So for now, yell Grunt, buying ourselves another turn. And then Intrepid. Let's go. Oh boy, this game. This game, man. He still has boss. I don't know if he has any switch outs left. I don't think so. We have the Galar... Yeah, Galar Mine cannot come and play. That's unfortunate. Marnie. Oh, that Marnie could be huge. How many energies here? Three, four, five. If there's two price, that could be huge. I don't know. We still have one hammer left. Yeah. We need to find our ordinary rod here. So we can shuffle back Luke Metal. And Fighting Energies. Yeah, here's the ordinary rod. Even the reset stamp. Okay, and drop it sword again. He finds his energy. Crazy. And he wakes up as well. Insane. Alright, folks. Let's go for this. Do both. What do we need? Luke Metal. Don't need any of these other cards. Yeah, we need Luke Metal. And we need Energy. Next, go for Airmail. <laughs> Don't need any of these cards, to be honest. Okay, maybe we can Galar Trap in the next time. We need to get these chip chips in. Need to get these chip chips in. Look, metal surrender now. Yeah, not necessary. Stamp to two. I don't know if he's gonna have a switch card or not. Stellar wish. Ooh, crushing hammer. We can boss him as well. I don't know if he's gonna have the energy of choice. If he has it, maybe. Crushing Hammer or not. Only two cards in hand. Let's just get the boss. How many energy switches in here? Three energy switches. I don't think he's playing more. This guy needs one energy to retreat. These need more energies to retreat. So let's just go for bossing on the ADP. Seems okay to me. And a sword. Yeah, next time we slap down Gallermine and hope he doesn't have any other switches. He already has like two ropes, three switches. Don't know how many energies he has left. We stamped into a low hand size. Three cards in hand. Marnie, no! This guy keeps on getting stuff, man. Stamped to two, getting a supporter. What do we need? Okay, the Jesse James combo is super huge. We find ourselves some wheezings. If he plays one card now, we can get him to a zero card hand. Okay, nothing more is true. There's an Intrepid Sword. Moving forward, what do we have? <laughs> yeah, Jesse James could be nice. Airmail. Ooh, the Bird Keeper. Or the Crushing Hammer. I think the Bird Keeper is 
pr pretty much better in all situations. Airmail. Lovable. Surge. I'm actually gonna be reshuffling the deck. Yeah, taking this doesn't matter. I'll go for Stellar Wish. Ooh, the boss, <laughs> boss's orders is nice, but we'll take the Crushing Hammer here. Okay, it's time for Surge. Bird Keeper. No energy, but we do have the Galar Mine, which is huge. And then Crushing Hammer. I'm getting rid of another energy. We can go for the Jesse James right now, get rid of some more cards. Yeah, probably gonna have to do that next turn when we shuffle in the reset stamp. But we don't have access to the reset stamp just yet, so I think. Huh. If you use Jesse James, I don't know what he's gonna discard though. There's only three cards, that's so not gonna matter too much. He could still boss us and we lose the game that way. He could still do that though. He could still boss us and we lose the game. Drop it. Yeah, I think that is his game plan, right? You uh, get yourself the Zation. Maybe we should have waited with the Bird Keeper, by the way. How many in there? Two. If he bosses the Zation, we lose the game because we are decked out. Yeah, maybe we should have not gone for the... Don't even know if he's gonna be playing boss doors, but that is a win con right now. He needs to boss the Zation and then we lose. So, ah, what did I do? Have to wait with the Bird Keeper. We do have the energy here necessary to go for the Roto Tiller, slapping in the Bird Keeper instantly so we don't lose. Attachment onto the ADP. Does he have an energy switch as well? Ah, he bosses the Zation. Super well done. Oh, he's going for an Intrepid Sword here. Maybe his la he has one of his last energies. Okay, we can still get out of the active position here. We can boss this guy. I don't know what is left in our deck, but he takes a card first, right? He could still Marnie, so uh, I don't know if we should attach here. Let's see our energy count. Three of them. I think there was one fighting energy prized. Yeah, I really think so. I don't know what's gonna happen. Does he still have a Marnie left? Or did we outplay the ADP player? Yo, we did it! <laughs> we did it! Control for the win! Oh boy! Hopefully you guys enjoyed this long video of Control. You can win against everything if you just play correctly. Wow, that's how it is. This control deck is insanely good. Try it out for yourself. Big shout out to Vinny Fernandez from Brazil. I actually am very surprised we got that W against ADP. It was all because of the fact that all of his saucers went to the discard pile. He went very aggressively and we were able to gallow trap him in the late game. Oh, well, I'm so surprised. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest every day. Go check out our sponsors, PokedownStore.com, the best place for TCGO code cards. You can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. You can get yourself Zation codes, Luke Metal codes, Mew Mew codes. Uh, Dracapult codes, Crobat codes, whatever you might need to start playing competitively, you can use the coupon code ZABDOCCG for 5% off. Also, go check out cardmarket.com, the best place for European players to uh, buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day, so uh, you should do that as well. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you guys tomorrow with more Pokemon TCG epicness. Yeah, this control deck was very, very crazy. Peace out.